good morning to all in the last class i taught you about the condition for true rolling right in this class i am going to teach you about the various bearing loads acting on a front axle various bearing loads acting on a front axle how the loads are acting and what are the reaction forces will create and how to rectify that how to rectify that that we need to know about it that we can learn this is a bearing this is a bearing section right this is a front axle this is the front axle system these are the bearings these are the bearings right this is a lower bearing this is a upper bearing this is a lower bearing this is a upper bearing a lower bearing b upper bearing c upper bearing c this is a point a this is a point a on the spindle axis spindle axis uh, in this center of uh, center plane of the wheel center plane of the wheel this is the center plane of the wheel right then what are the forces acting in it what are the reaction forces what are the forces will acting in it this is a what of the reaction force rt this is a, one of the reaction force rt this is a, one of the force ru rw rl these are the forces right what's by rw that is the reaction of the wheel reaction of the wheel on the spindle acting in vertical through the center of contact of tire on the ground due to the tire contact on the ground due to tire contact on the ground some reaction force will act some reaction force act will act right it is perpendicular to the base perpendicular to the base or w right then r3 that is the load on the thrust bearing load on the thrust bearing this is the bearing right how much amount of thrust how much amount of reaction force will create here that we can denote as r3 then load on the upper bearing upper knuckle bearing this is the upper knuckle bearing this lower bearing is a thrust bearing upper bearing is the knuckle bearing right this is a knuckle knuckle bearing right in that bearing how much amount of reaction force will create how much amount of reaction force will create right that is the ru then last one load on the lower knuckle pin bearing lower knuckle pin bearing this is the knuckle this is the knuckle pin bearing how much amount of thrust the reaction force we create here right that we need to find that that forces we need to find with the help of the relations with the help of the relations how we can find that relations first we need to take the moment about any one of the point first we need to take the moment about any one of the point here i am going to take here i am going to take the moment about the c what is my c is a upper bearing upper bearing otherwise knuckle, upper knuckle bearing right i am going to take the moment about c so summation of moment will be zero summation of moment will be zero that is the condition here this is the point this point we need to take the moments how you can take what are the vertical forces what are the vertical and horizontal forces acting here this is a vertical force or w from this how much distance c or w into c this is in the anti clockwise direction so it will be positive right this will move in this anti clockwise direction so it will be in positive then what are the other forces here one force will be there or l here we will uh, we have the distance d plus g right this is the height so or l into or l into d plus g this is the product of or l and d plus g okay right but it in the clockwise direction so negative clockwise direction mean negative and the clockwise direction means positive 
finally we need to equate to 0 uh, from this we can find the value of rl how means cross multiply that c by d plus e into rw right this is the equation number one similarly we need to take the moment about b lower bearing that means thrust bearing right here we need to take the moment means the summation of moment will be zero that is the condition for this also we have a reaction force due to the tire on the road rwo into this distance b right sorry uh, this distance a this distance a here they given mentioned this point right rwo into a then what are the other forces here we have the ru ru into this much distance d plus e d plus e equal to zero right from this we need to simplify that and find the value of ru that value will be ru equal to a by d plus e into rw this is equation number two and we need to take the moment about a a point right center of the plane plane of the wheel center of the plane of the wheel for this we need to take the moment means in this same axis so this will not consider this will not consider right this force will not consider what are the perpendicular forces what are the perpendicular forces rt ru rl right that forces we need to consider here and find the value of moments rt into b rt into b and rl into this height e rl into minus rl into e this is a only one force in the anti clockwise direction so plus rl will give you the anti uh, clockwise direction clockwise movement so negative and ru into d this height d this also give the clockwise moment so it also will be negative rt into b minus rl into e minus ru into d is equal to 0 from this we need to simplify the equation and find we need to find the value of rt so we need to simplify the form rt into b is equal to rl into e plus ru into d this is the equation number 3 in this equation this is the equation number 3 right substitute we need to substitute rl and ru values in this equation number 3 rl and ru values in this equation number 3 and finally we need to find the value of rt that equation will be c e plus a d divided by b into d plus e into r w r w right here this is a concept of the this is the concept of the bearing various bearing loads acting on the front axle what are the loads acting in this front axle okay right in the next class i will teach you about the another one most important topic thank you